Hey, it's, it's, it's your boy Eli. And Jay's here with your yearly homecoming newscast. Let's hope the weather is looking good for all these homecoming pictures. So let's go check out our weekend forecast with Phineas Hilbert. We are back with another sportscast. Let's kick it off with football. Last Friday, the Aces lost to the Pilots with a final score of 37-6, slotting their record at 0-6. Braden Dix scored the lone Aces touchdown. Tonight, Paulding comes to town for homecoming. Be sure to head on over to the game tonight. Now on to volleyball. Last Saturday, the Aces traveled to Evergreen. The Aces won in three sets. Before we keep going, Lindsay Bergman took the time to sit down with Molly Crawl, discussing her thousandth kill. Who inspired your love for volleyball? My love for volleyball probably came from watching my sister when she was playing in high school. I was the water girl, so I got kind of an inside of what high school practices looked like. And then I got to watch the college sports from my brother. So watching him play in college, he played football in college, watching him see what all it took and how successful he was really made me want to pursue a volleyball career in college. What awards have you received throughout your high school volleyball career? I have been first team GMC every year since I was a freshman. Um, I've been first team um, District 7 every year since my sophomore year, and I was MVP of our season last year. Do you plan to further your volleyball career? Yes, I will be going to the University of Wisconsin at Green Bay, and I'll be playing volleyball there. What did you do to achieve these goals? To achieve these goals, I worked really hard in the off season to um, get better every day. I always went to my club practices, and I would always have my parents or my siblings outside um, throwing balls at me, working on passing, or I would just work on serving against the garage. So I did a lot just to stay um, ready for games and just to advance myself. What advice would you give to younger kids that would love to achieve similar goals? I would say do everything you can in the off season to make sure that you're being prepared for your next games and the next season's ahead of you. And I would say that you need to make sure that you are working hard and putting your name out there and always asking your coaches what you can get better on so that way you never become complacent and that you can always be a better player. Man, 1,000 kills is a lot. That's what I'm saying. Now let's keep it going with the rest of the week. On Monday, the Aces hosted Toledo Christian. The Aces once again won it in sweep fashion. Molly Crod, 16 kills, Aubrey Bird had 22 assists, and Lindsey Bergman racked up 18 digs. On Tuesday night, the Aces traveled to Paulding and beat the Panthers, and you guessed it, three sets. Molly Crawl had 18 kills and 11 digs, Aubrey Baird had 28 assists and 13 digs, and Delaney Johnson had 13 digs to round out the night. Tomorrow morning, the Aces will host Wayne Trace at 10 and then complete the week with Lincoln View at noon. Now let's run on over to cross country. Last Saturday, the Aces ran at Liberty Center. Ben Taylor led the boys with a final time of 17 minutes and 30 seconds, which put him in 13th place. Bailey Shearer led the girls with a time of 23 minutes and 29 seconds, putting her in 63rd place. On Tuesday, the Aces traveled to Edgerton for a date with the Bulldogs, Antwerp, and Holgate. Ben Taylor won the race with a time of 18 minutes and 2 seconds. Rachel Winker led the girls with a time of 23 minutes and 37 seconds, which had put her in 2nd place. On Saturday, the Aces will once again run at Edgerton. Now let's go over to golf. On Tuesday, the girls traveled to Auglaise Golf Club in Defiance to fight for their sectional title. The girls finished second overall, and Kenzie Schrader won first, capturing a second straight sectional title. Before we keep going, let's go over to Eli, who spoke with Coach Bergman. Hey, this is, it's Eli here with Coach Bergman. So after this long season, how does it feel to be first runner up in sectionals? Uh, it feels great. Uh, Van Buren's a really good team. We went in there hoping to get second or third place. You know, the point is to be tough, so we'll come out there and become by 11 and really good. What's it like seeing Kenzie succeed as much as she does? Uh, she deserves everything she gets. She works harder than anybody else I know in the game of golf. Uh, so everything she does is, is she earns it. So it's great to watch her succeed. And finally, what are your hopes for districts? Obviously, our hopes would be to get out of districts and move on to state. Uh, came a little bit short last year. The girls are playing really good right now, so I'm just going to take it one stroke at a time and see if we can get there. All right, good luck. Thank you. Let's go back to Finland. 
Moving along, yesterday the boys traveled to Ironwood Golf Course in Wauseon to fight for their chance at a sectional crown. You can check the Student Life update for scores and stats. That's all for now. Until next week, Aces, let's throw it back to the desk. It's looking pretty good so far. Who knows, this weather's been all over the place lately. That's true. That's enough of weather though, I'm getting hungry. Me too. Let's go check out the next week's lunch with Zachary. Hey Aces, it's Zach with next week's lunch. On Monday, we will be having chicken patty, baked beans, celery, orange slices, and milk. On Tuesday, we'll be having ham and cheese pockets, green beans, carrots, applesauce, and milk. Wednesday, we'll be having taco with lettuce, cheese, cherry tomatoes, grapes, cocoa bar, and milk. Right. On Thursday, we'll be having mac and cheese, steamed broccoli, cucumber slices, banana, and milk. And on Friday, we'll be having mozzarella cheese bread with pizza sauce, cauliflower bites, peaches, fudge bar, and milk. That's it for next week's lunch, Aces. Back to the desk. I mean, that was some pretty okay lunch. What do you think? Yeah, it wasn't bad, but I'm intrigued to see what the Aces did with the SLV. Let's check it out. That was quite an eventful week, Aces. I'm glad to see all the students participating in Spirit Week. Me too. I'm also glad to see our sports team taking dubs every single week. So let's go check out the sports with Elijah and Phineas. Let's with your weekend weather. Today will be a high of 68 and a low of 46 with an 11% chance of rain. On Saturday, it'll be a high of 69 and a low of 51 with a 5% chance of rain. And finally, on Sunday, it'll be a high of 65 and a low of 40 with a 6% chance of rain. Back to the anchors. You aces sure are working hard. It makes me want to celebrate. Well then let's celebrate with birthdays with Lily Bell. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to all of you excellent aces. Well, that's it for this year's homecoming newscast. Have a great weekend, aces. See you later. Aces.